Hello YouTube, B3 here, back another kicking comic book collection update. Today we have lots of cool stuff. First up from Oni Press, Rick and Morty Little Poopy Superstar number one. Summer's kind of jealous of Morty because Rick's always taking Morty on adventures and not her. But then uh, Mr. Poopy Butthole huh, asks her to help him out. And then they go to his world in issue two here. Uh, variant, this is a variant. And they uh, they check it out. And he's like, turns out he's the biggest star of all time. Every person on the planet is literally psycho for him, and that's why he left. And then, in issue three, Summer has to break out of jail to go rescue Mr. Poopy Butthole. Because they were going to execute her because they thought she corrupted him and made him want to leave them. <laughs> Insane. And then we have uh, Convergence Batgirl. Picked up some Convergence issues from the dollar bin. Uh, Convergence Batgirl here. Uh... Not a bad story. I wasn't crazy about issue one. It's got Grill Grodd and Catman. Not the Catman I'm used to. Uh, I was hoping Cassandra would be the main character because Black Bat, I mean, Cassandra Kane's one of my favorite characters. Not a big fan of Stephanie, honestly. Tim Drake's my boy, though. And, of course, I got issue two as well, yeah, which was better, I think. I like her uh, outside-the-box thinking on solving conflicts. That's pretty good. And then we got some amazing Spider-Man stuff. These are, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the some point issues, 1.3 here. Uh, wasn't too crazy about this story. It was pretty philosophical about religion and faith and stuff, but it was a lot of issues, and it didn't really seem necessary or anything, just because they knew it's Spider-Man and people would buy it. That's the whole reason this exists, and the only reason I have it is because I'm completing it. I had to get the second printing because I missed out on 1.3 somehow. Uh... Yes, yeah, so there was like a guy that was resurrected, and here's 1.4, and he's like killing people, and apparently he's going to use powers to let uh, some kind of deity into their dimension. Here's 1.5 of Amazing Grace, uh, and everyone was like thinking he was a prophet or something, but it turns out Spider-Man was right about him, and he's he was being kind of a dick the whole time, honestly. That's one of the reasons I wasn't crazy about it. He was not being a great guy. But yeah, so that just went through 1.6. That's over with. Thank God. And Batman Detective Comics number 942. Uh, Night of the Monster Men, part 6. Pretty cool. Uh, I enjoyed this. You guys know I'm a sucker for giant monsters, so... Uh, I really did enjoy this. Hugo Strange, giant monsters. Pretty cool. Night of the Monster Men was a neat little event. And lastly, we have the unbelievable Gwynpool number seven. Don't believe that number one. It's number seven. Uh, this is more like an in-between issue. Those squid aliens are looking for her, and she meets with the guy who's funding Modoc. Uh, he's a pretty normal dude. And uh, yeah, you know this is a good book. She's still really funny. I'm, I'm, I like this book a lot. This is a good title. So yeah, quick recap. The Unbelievable Gwynpool number 7. Batman Detective Comics number 942. The Amazing Spider-Man 1.6. The Amazing Spider-Man 1.5. The Amazing Spider-Man 1.4. And The Amazing Spider-Man 1.3. As well as Convergence Batgirl number 2. Convergence Batgirl number 1. Rick and Morty Little Poopy Superstar number 3. Rick and Morty Little Poopy Superstar number 2 variant, and Rick and Morty Little Poopy Superstar number 1. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all later.